Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and I get asked quite a bit by my craniocervical instability patients, how do you know if you're generally hypermobile? And while there is genetic testing for Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, it's much easier than that, meaning that you can go online and take a bite and score test that you'll see below. And as you can see, that'll be testing your finger mobility, and then your thumb mobility, and then your elbow mobility, and then whether your knees hyperextend, and whether you can palm the floor. And then that is scored so that you can determine whether or not you're generally hypermobile. Now, that's not a hard and fast rule. There are other types of hypermobility, meaning there are patients that are hypermobile in their neck and cervical spine or in their spine in general, but not in their joints and vice versa and lots of different subtypes. But in general, the simplest way to see if you're hypermobile is to go online and do this bite and score test. I'll put a link in the description below for that bite and score test so that you can take that and get some sense of how you score and whether or not you're hypermobile. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps answer that question. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.